Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Vaswani. The headlines. A glimmer of hope in Ukraine. Russia says it'll scale back military operations around the capital, Kyiv. It's six in the morning in Singapore and midnight in France, where the trial began today of the 2015 attacks in Paris. A night of indiscriminate shooting and bombing in Paris that left 130 innocent people dead. It was France's worst attack since the Second World War. It led to intensified French military action against the extremists abroad and a security crackdown at home. Today, the 20 men accused of involvement in those attacks appeared in the docks. Our Paris correspondent Lucy Williamson reports. Rescue operations continuing such a tragic loss of life. If you can, give us a sense of what the situation is there right now for your people and how rescue efforts are going. It's the Oscars on Sunday, and for the first time in history, this year's lineup includes a record number of nominees of Asian heritage. One of the biggest films making waves this year is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. It's an outrageous sci-fi movie in which megastar Michelle Yeoh plays the role of Evelyn Wang. Now, if she wins, she'll become the first Asian woman ever to receive the award. Ahead of the ceremony, I spoke to Michelle Yeoh about what this means to her. I'm very aware that it's beyond me. It's beyond me being recognized as an actress. It's like a whole community of Asians coming forward and saying, you're going to do this for us. In the first instance, I just want to put to you, why is China continuing these military activities near Taiwan? We introduced to you Maria Ressa, Nobel Prize winner on to the program. Great to have you on Newsday, Maria, and thank you so much for joining us. Let's just start with that, shall we? How concerned are you about uh, the effects of misinformation and disinformation in Filipino society uh, coming up to these elections, ahead of these elections? Extremely concerned and have been concerned for the last five or six years. You know, what you're seeing with uh, Duterte Marcos Alliance here is really a conversion of the information operations that has literally changed history. And as you can see from Jonathan's report, you know, embedded meta narratives that just frankly aren't true, but are believed as facts by many of our people. This is BBC News. Well, let's just take a moment to concentrate on the charges being brought against Mr. Trump. The court filing says the former president acted with intent to defraud and intent to commit another crime and aid and conceal the commission thereof and made and caused a false entry in the business records of an enterprise. Now, the charges against Donald Trump are all Class E felonies. That is the lowest category of felony offence in New York and carries a maximum prison sentence of four years per count. Falsifying business records is usually prosecuted as a misdemeanor. Now, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office is escalating the charge by alleging the offence was committed in order to conceal or commit another crime. And it is important to note Mr Trump has pleaded not guilty on all the charges. It is the last programme of the year. It's the final news day of 2022. Can you quite believe it? I really can't. The year has just whizzed past, hasn't it? And just to say to all of our wonderful viewers who tune in to this programme, wherever you may be watching from all over the world, on behalf of everyone here at the Newsday team, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas for all of those celebrating and a happy holiday season to all of you. Stay safe. Stay well and have a little fun if you're able to. I'll see you in 2023. Until then, a very happy new year. Thanks for watching.